Hi. This week will be devoted to fats or lipids. And do you know that they're actually the same? Lipids is just a more fancy word. Now we eat fat and we also store fat. But what is fat really and how is it processed? Well, that's what this week is going to be all about. By studying a number of very well-designed animations, you will learn about the chemistry of dietary fats and you will learn that they are mostly composed of fatty acids. Now, these animations will also teach you the difference between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids and why omega-3 fatty acids are called that way. We will also look at the fat content of foods. You'll be able to figure out which foods contribute to most to your total fat intake. Now, in my case, it's probably nuts, including peanut butter. And you're probably curious to know what it is in your case. Now, you will also learn a lot more about fatty acid composition, which refers to the types of fatty acids present in a food. Now, some foods are rich in saturated fatty acids, such as cheese, coconut oil, palm oil, fatty meats, whereas other foods are rich in unsaturated fatty acids, most vegetable oils, avocado, nuts, fatty fish, and, and many other foods. Now, you may wonder what happens to the fat that you consume. Well, in this week, you'll watch more animations that show you what happens to the fat once it enters our GI tract. You will learn about chylomicrons, which are special particles that transport the fat throughout the bloodstream. Now, we will follow the fat once it gets taken up into the bloodstream. In one video, I will explain how dietary fat actually gets stored in the fat tissue. I already mentioned chylomicrons, but there are a number of other particles called lipoproteins that carry fat in our blood. There is VLDL, there is LDL, and there is HDL. And you will learn where these particles come from and what they do. Now, besides fat in our diet, there is also fat stored in our body, the so-called body fat. And you will learn what's so special about body fat and the fat cells that form the fat tissue. You will learn how the fat in our diet, or better, any excess energy, ends up being stored there. And what you may not know is that we constantly make and break down fat. And you may also not know that when you lose weight, the individual fat cells shrink in size. Now, finally, you will read text and answer questions about the essential fatty acids, which, as already indicated by the name, need to be part of our diet, the linoleic acid and linolenic acid. In summary, this is going to be a fat week. You will learn what is dietary fat and how it is processed in our body. And at the end, you'll be tested by a section exam. Enjoy your week.